welcome. Uh, if somebody hadn't already welcomed you this morning, let me be the first one to welcome you, and thank you for coming. I say this every time I get up here. Uh, this would just be a building without you here. So I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you for bringing the Holy Spirit with you because we're going to ask him in a little while as he moves within us and among us to lead us and to point us toward Christ in our worship. Uh, you don't have to look around too far to see this is not a normal service. Uh, we got a lot going on up here, but I know that you're going to enjoy it. So uh, I do want to share this. It will be different, but I'm excited about it. I love uh, the fellowship that we have had with, with Barkley, his family, and, and uh, the worship. But from a standpoint of worship, you can worship in the morning watching the sun come up, or you can worship watching the sunset in the afternoons. Uh, God did not create us to sit in a deer stand and, and worship him alone. He created us and gave us the ability for fellowship with him and for fellowship with each other. That is why we come. We worship corporately, and we can worship at home. You can worship through preaching, you can worship through praying, and you can worship through singing and song, which is what we're going to do today. And I thought it was interesting. Uh, I saw a post from Brother Wayne Shepherd, and from any of y'all that were that are friends with him, you would have seen it. But I thought it was really uh, applicable for for a different type of worship service here. And he had a picture of Job sitting like an Indian with his legs crossed in the dirt, didn't have a shirt on. Uh, he looked thin and emaciated, and he had sores all over him. And the caption above it said this, When Job had everything, he worshipped. When Job lost everything, he worshipped. And the word to us from that is that what we are, what situations we are in and what circumstances we're having to deal with are not what constitutes our ability to worship. Our worship is because of who God is, and that doesn't change. So this morning, we want to worship. I'm going to challenge you to worship in whatever way the Holy Spirit leads you to worship. If you want to raise your hands, if you want to stand up, if you want to uh, sing, if you know the songs, please do. Barkley will be the first to tell you. Do whatever God leads you to do this morning because it's all about him and it's all about worship. Barkley has brought his family and the praise team to lead us in that direction. And we are going to ask the Holy Spirit to... Uh, we, don't want to, we, we don't want to squelch or to quench the Holy Spirit this morning. It's all open and it's all about God. So if you're like me, and, and, and I told Barkley, I just like to close my eyes and try to focus on God and let him speak to me as the music is playing and as the words are being said. But you worship any way you want to worship. And that's what we're going to do this morning. Uh, I'm going to lead us in a prayer in just a few minutes, and, and we will have a short period of, of time of fellowship like we always do. So uh, if you hadn't seen somebody in a while, go hug their neck, tell them Jesus loves them, even if you don't. And uh, that's, that's all that we have to do. But let's, we will fellowship and be in prayer for, for Barkley. I will let him introduce the, the praise team when he comes up in a few minutes. So uh, let's say, if you would, just bow with me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we, we pause in your presence this morning and we, we ask that you draw us before your throne of grace. And Lord, we confess this morning our need for you in our lives. We confess that you are the creator. You are almighty God. There is none other. Lord, that you have, uh, you have sustained the creation. You are Savior and you are Lord. And most importantly, you are still ruling and reigning in your creation. You have not left us alone to fend for ourselves, but you go before us, you prepare the way, you pick us up when we fall down, and we thank you for that. 
Lord, I thank you for, for, for Barkley. I thank you for this uh, relationship, this fellowship. And I pray for him and this team as they lead us, Lord, that you would bless their efforts. Lord, that you would bless us, that we might be a blessing to others. And, Lord, as we remember this is the Labor Day weekend, or the, uh, Lord, we want to remember, what am I saying? Uh, Veterans Day weekend. Lord, many have served, many have sacrificed, and we want to recognize and honor all of those because I can stand here this morning by choice in the facility and with the people and speak the name of Jesus because of the freedoms that were won and protected. But Lord, we would be remiss this morning if we don't recognize you, your sacrifice, and that freedom that far exceeds the freedom to stand here. It is an opportunity, it is a... It is a, an offer from you, Lord, to call upon your name, and we will be saved. So, Lord, thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for who you are, for what you mean to each of us. And we do ask your blessing on this time. And I pray, Lord, that as we leave this place, that as the psalmist said, we pray that the words of our mouth, the meditations of our heart, will be found acceptable in your sight. And, Lord, that we might leave from here later on, having said it was good to have been in the house of the Lord. We pray and ask all these things in that precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Y'all stand up, fellowship for a minute, and when the music starts, sit down. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, whoa. wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot the most important thing. We got some announcements. Uh, I got carried away. We got a deacons meeting right after the service, and I've asked the nominating committee to meet with us. We're going to discuss some openings that we have in our committees. Uh, Operation Christmas Child Boxes are due November the 15th. There are boxes out here that are available. They're free, and we ask uh, it costs $10 to, to ship them. Uh, next Sunday, uh, Brother Seth Graham will be here. He's one of the pastors that I had talked to. We will be having a uh, dinner on the grounds, but it's a Thanksgiving-related dinner. It's being done a little bit differently than in the past where we just brought potluck. The food committee has chosen to, to have Thanksgiving-related dishes, and there is a sheet out here on the bulletin board. If you would, put your name beside one of these dishes, and uh, as you know, we, we still feed about the same number of people, but there's just less of the people that are helping to prepare. So do what you can with what you can. Next Sunday, there will be no evening service uh, because of the, the Thanksgiving fellowship. Tonight, we have our regular service at 5 p.m., and I'll be meeting with the search committee after that. Uh, and if you are one of these people who have taken stuff into the church office and you've left it on the desk, don't leave it there very long because there's a cleanup going on. It's in progress. So uh, if you know where it needs to go, contact the person so it can be picked up, placed, and filed appropriately. Otherwise, uh, it won't be there. So that's, that's all I know of any other announcements. Brother, when um, next Sunday, the youth will be going to YEC. Yeah, it's in the bulletin, YEC Youth Evangelism Conference, November 19th through the 20th. Okay. Thank y'all. Good morning, everybody. How about praise the Lord, everybody? God is good, and I would like to echo what uh, what Wynn said. We're blessed to be able to be here, right? We're blessed, and a lot of people have sacrificed and uh, done a lot to give us the opportunity to be here and to be able to worship God freely. And uh, so we live in a free country where people have made sacrifices so that we could have the freedom and the liberty to worship God and love God as we see fit and as we understand that it should be. And uh, that's, that's a viewpoint from 
Probably everybody that considers themselves to be an American, you could relate to that. But I want to share a viewpoint about worship and praise and the freedom and the liberty to do that that comes from a spiritual perspective before we begin. And I want you to feel at liberty today to worship the Lord and to let God move on you in your life. So I'll pull this scripture before we begin to sing from Psalms 100. And it simply says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is good. He is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. And then verse 4 is the one that everybody likes to quote so much. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. And be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord, he is good, and his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth unto all generations. So from the perspective of citizens of the United States, we are blessed to be able to have the freedom and the liberty to worship and to attend church and enjoy this beautiful country that we do. But as saints of God and children of God, we've also been given the freedom and the liberty to worship him. And he enticed us and asked us, come into the house of God with worship and praise on your hearts and your lips and bring that to him. And we want to do that today. And I want to invite you today to do that with us as we worship and love the Lord. So let's do that together. Amen. Be quiet. We shout out to 
is good all the time and all the time. God is good. God is good. Amen. I feel honored and, ble- honored and blessed to be able to be here and we, we want to be sure we don't take up too much time. Uh, most of y'all know everybody that's up here. We're just honored to be in the service of the Lord. Uh, and uh, so I'll just be real quick. That's my, that's my oldest son over there on the guitar, Riley. Logan, my middle son on the bass, who thinks he gets the short end of everything, but he doesn't. And, uh, and Matt on the drums, y'all know. It's my youngest son, Gentry, who they say is spoiled, and that may be <laughs> highly likely um, on the keys. And then Jackie, and this is my mom, and this is my beautiful wife, uh, Christina. And so uh, she's going to sing in a minute. And this is Bailey, who puts up with my youngest son. So, and this is James Lance. And uh, he is a he, he, he just started with us not too long ago, but he brought his harmonica, and I'm happy for that. So <laughs> let's worship the Lord. Look, it, it feels good to worship the Lord and praise the Lord. It's okay. Okay. I just read you Psalms 100. It said, Enter into his gates. Right? Bring praise. Right? Um, and so we're going to do it and do our best.
with every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you, Lord. We live for you, yeah. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder and show. voice will hold out. Let's continue to worship the Lord. You know, I, I use this scripture a lot, but the Bible says this, and it defines Christ's perspective as, of us, I think, so well. In this simple thing that he said, I stand at the door and I knock. And then he, and then he said, but if any man will open up, that door. I'll come in, right? And I'll fellowship with you. And I'll show you how much I love you. 
and I'll talk to you about things that are important to you. I'm paraphrasing, right? As the scripture doesn't say all this, but when you come in and sup and you sit down and you have fellowship and dinner and conversation with somebody, you talk to them about things that are relevant to them and things that are important to them and and you show kindness to them. You listen to them. And so when I read that scripture, forgive me, but that's the way I take what Christ was saying to us. He said, I, I stand at the door and I knock. And I can't come in. I'm not allowed to come in. I have, I have formed it that way. It has been created that way from the very beginning that I cannot come in unless I'm invited. But when I am invited, I will come in and I will fellowship. And I will listen. And I will love. And I will show compassion and mercy and friendship. And so I'm so thankful today. I'm so appreciative today that I have a Savior that desires to be. I have a God that desires to be part of my life. Not one that stands afar off and looks and says, I hope that they make it or I hope that things get better for them or I hope they find their way out of whatever trouble it is that they found themselves in. But I'm thankful that I serve a God that looks at me and says, man, I wish I could get in there and I wish that I could be a part. I wish that I could be a part of what's going on in their life. They don't understand. They don't know how much better I could make it for them, obviously, because they hadn't opened the door. But if they would, I'd love to be part of that. I'm so thankful that I serve a God like that. I serve a God that's looking at me right now with eyes of love and mercy. And he is glad to see me in the house of God. He's glad to see you in the house of God. And he is, he is inspired and he is loving our praise and our worship today. Amen. And so I ask you today, give your heart to him. Give your time to him. Give your attention to him. And know that he's standing there knocking. And whether or not you receive what you need from God today will be only determined by whether you decide to crack that door and say, hey, won't you come on in? But it's in your hands. Amen. I started over using the wrong key, it's okay. Technical difficulties. Sing love. 
if you would please come forward for the offering.
And if you don't like that, your liker is broke. <laughs> Amen. I love, I love that. Yeah, and now we got a special singer that's coming. He sang this at rehearsal or run through or whatever you want to call it the other night. And uh, we worked, tried to get everything where it was okay and sounding okay for him. And then he came in here this morning. And uh, I don't know, you lubed your voice up or you did vocal exercises this morning or what, but when he came in here this morning and sang it, I just felt the power of God and I just felt the anointing of God in his singing and it blessed me and I want you to bless everybody else like you blessed us earlier. Come sing that thing. Hey, what he didn't, what he failed to tell you was... Uh, I actually forgot some of the words this morning, so I got them on my phone. So y'all bear with me, but we're going to, uh, any rate. Watching me, the anchor holds. Though the ship is battered, anchor holds. Though the sails are torn.
That's when he's true. His love for me. Girl holds. Though the ship is battered. The anchor holds. Though the sails are torn. enjoyed that so much. Thank you. Romans uh, chapter number eight, it says, there is nothing that can separate us from the love of God, not height, not depth, not principality, not power. Goes on to expound and say even more things. And, 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 and then it says at the end, no other creature. And I always tried to relay that and understand that scripture as, as him telling us in, 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 in the writing that there's nothing that can separate us from the love of God, true enough, that is outside of ourself, but we can if we so choose to separate ourselves from the love of God. Not that he doesn't love us. Don't, don't think I'm saying that. Not that he doesn't love us. He loves us always. His love has not waned or, 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 or gone away from the very beginning. He loved us before we were. He loves us now. He will love us always. However... We can separate ourselves from the benefits of that love and from being attached to that love and experiencing that love in this life if we so choose. But there's nothing else that can. And what that tells me is that if I make up my mind that I'm going to serve the Lord, I can be like Joshua when he said, well, y'all can do what y'all want to, but as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord, right? Because there is nothing that can keep me from serving the Lord. There is nothing that can separate me from the love of God and from the mercy and compassion of God. And because of that, I'm going to take full advantage of it, right? I'm going to make sure that I get the good out of what God has promised me. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus.
Scripture tells us that there is no other name that is given whereby we must be saved. And so if we're going to make it to heaven, and me and, me and Brother Wynn, we've talked a little bit about Bible theology and things like this. This is something that we agree on 100%. If you, if you make it to heaven, it's going to be because of the cross of Calvary and no other reason. Amen. And then going, there's only one sacrifice, and there, and there, and that's the only one that has been paid, and the only one that is going to be paid. There will be no more. And if you're going to make it to heaven, you've got to come by the cross of Calvary, and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. And so I'm so thankful that He has given me the opportunity to love Him and serve Him. Um, my beautiful wife is going to come sing, and and she said, "Stop it!" If y'all couldn't hear her. She said, she said, stop it. Amen. Worship, worship with us as we sing.
This young lady right here is going to sing for us, and uh, I, I'm just proud that you put up with my youngest son. Thank you, and I think she's wonderful, and uh, and so uh, I, <clears throat> I don't know. <laughs> I was, yeah, I, I, I I'll say this. Uh, I don't know if I've told you this, and this uh, I don't know if anybody else told you this, but she comes. She comes home on the weekends with Gentry and stays there with us uh, most every weekend. Not all the time, but most every weekend. He picks her up when, or she drives her car with him. They come from uh, West Monroe. And uh, so I got used to her being there. And uh, I just like her being there. She's just, she's cool. And so uh, one Saturday, Gentry came in and there was no Bailey. I said, where's Bailey? Why didn't she bring Bailey? So I asked, where's Bailey? Why didn't Bailey come? <laughs> well, she had to do such and such. Well, I was just bummed out because I appreciate you being there. Uh, and uh, so she has, yeah, she has a heart of gold, and she, uh, and she sings this song so beautifully. So sing it for us. <laughs> Simply come. 
I enjoy all of the instruments and uh, and uh, and and forgive me if everything isn't dialed in and sounding just fantastic today. It's kind of difficult to do and set up and get everything uh, uh, just exactly perfect. But uh, I enjoy the instruments and the speakers and the, all the gadgets and all that stuff. But uh, God doesn't require that. He's okay with some of that, but He doesn't require that. And because of that, we got one more song to do, and then I know we're pushed for time. We got one more song, but I want to sing just a little bit of that chorus again, just the way, just, just, just y'all. For, I love y'all, but <laughs> <clears throat> no offense, no offense. And if you know the words to this, I want you to worship, worship with us. Let me let me say this to you. I'm a. I consider myself in this position that I'm in right now, worship leader, right? Um, not, I'm not putting any airs. I'm not, but but that's the position that I'm in. I'm leading worship. I'm I'm not just up here singing. I'm supposed to be leading worship. So I'm supposed to be promoting worship, and I'm supposed to be trying to get you right to worship. That's my job. And so, just for a minute, I'm going to give you the opportunity to help me fulfill my job here this morning. Right? Help me do what God has called me and asked me to do here this morning. 
We're going to sing just a little bit of this chorus, and then we're going to finish with one last song. But you know the words to this song. I know you do. And I want you to sing it with us. And I want God just to be blessed by our joyful noise. And I praise to him right now. Could we just do that just a little bit? Start us off. We do need you for just a minute. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing. It's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry. It's all about you, Jesus. Doesn't that feel good? That's okay. Amen. I love these these worship songs and these worship collaborations that are pulled from scripture because the word is powerful and the Bible says that it won't go forth void but it will do that that it was sent to accomplish and so when we sing the word I have to believe that it's going to do what God desires to accomplish and I love I love these songs that are written from scripture y'all worship with us
love you, Jesus. I praise you, God, and I thank you for your goodness and your mercy to me. Thank you for always being there for me. Lord is my shepherd, and he goes before me. Defender behind me So I won't fear Amen. I've got faith and confidence in Jesus Christ. Amen. Could we give the Lord a hand clap of praise here today? I know we're a little long on time. Uh, I'm going to do what you asked me, if that's okay. Um, I just want to say this. Keep playing Gentry, and we're closing out, but we want to we allow somebody the opportunity, if you want to, keep playing this game, uh, to come down. And get, just come here. Um, we, we've talked and I appreciate the opportunity to be able to be here and to be able to be in this position. This is an honor and I don't take it lightly. And we talked about some of the differences between maybe the way the scripture has been revealed to me and maybe some of the difference between the way the scripture has been revealed to Brother Wynn or this church doctrine and, and 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 I told him I said I won't I won't I won't step on anything like that because I honor the position in the pulpit and 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 everything too much but he asked would we at the end give an invitation so I want to say this and uh, and me and him are we're we understand each other and we we know uh, that we both believe that the cross of Calvary is the only way that you're going to make it to heaven, right? And so I'm going to give an invitation here today. Anybody that wants to come down uh, and, and, and wants to ask any questions or wants to just say, hey, Brother Barkley or Brother Wynn, I've got some things that I would like to talk to you about. Uh, I want to give you the opportunity to do that here today and, and come down and, and, and pray if you want to. And, uh, and so... I invite you now. We're going to play just a little music and and uh, and give you that opportunity. And so, I, I don't know how y'all usually do things here, but I'm just going to ask the church to stand, if you will, if you don't mind. This may be different, but this morning's been different already, so it's okay. If you felt something, if you felt God tug at your heart today, and you feel God pulling at you, and you feel the anointing of God and the Spirit of God that is is talking to you here today. I ask you to come down here today and at least make that step of faith. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. You cannot even begin to please God unless you have faith. And although all of us have been given a measure according to the scripture and the word of God, it's up to us to exercise that faith and make a proclamation and say, God, I, I believe and I'm not ashamed of what I believe. And so I ask you today, if you're willing, if you felt the move of God and the anointing of God and you want to, come down here, down to the front and, and maybe leave some information with us. And maybe you can pray for just a few moments as we play just a little music. And I ask you to begin your journey with God right here today. Today is the day of salvation, not tomorrow, not next week, not put off until I get everything right. I've got news for you. If you put off God until you get everything right, you'll never get God, right? You'll never find what you're looking for. But if you'll come to an altar, if you'll come to a front here this morning and you'll and you'll be honest and open with, with God. <laughs> and you'll say, God, I, I don't have it all right. 
but I know you love me and I want to I get it all right. You can begin that process and that step here today, right now, and you can begin to fulfill what God is desiring to do in your life. And nobody and nothing can separate you or keep you from it. So I invite you today, maybe, uh, maybe you already feel like you're okay and you just want to come down to the front while we sing one last chorus. And, uh, and, and just worship there, that's fine. We're going to close out with a chorus. Um, so as to not make it seem like you're putting yourself out there all alone, there's already some that have come up. And this is not a proclamation of I feel like I'm going to hell. This is somebody saying, I love God, and I appreciate what, what I felt here today, and I want to reciprocate that to God. And so I'm asking you to do that today if you feel that in your heart. We're going we're gonna to sing just just this, if that's okay, we're going to sing just a little bit while, while uh, we give everybody the opportunity, anybody that wants to come down. And I'm not going to come bother you. I just, if you want to talk to me, call me. I'll come talk to you. Otherwise, let's just, uh, let's just worship the Lord for just a minute. Yeah. Lord is my shepherd. And he goes before me Defender behind me I won't fear And fill with anointing My cup's overflowing. No weapon can harm me. And I won't fear. And God talk to you this morning. And he's my comfort, always holds me close. And he always guides me through mountains and valleys. His joy is refreshing. It restores my soul. And mercy and goodness is waiting for you today. And it gives me assurance. glory and face to face and hallelujah I am not Spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me, my victory, my victory. Your spirit lives within me, and so I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me, my victory. Your spirit lives within me, so I will walk in your peace.
peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, oh my victory. Your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. Your spirit lives within me. So I will walk in your peace. Your spirit lives within me. My victory, my victory. Amen. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I thank you, God, for what you've done. Amen. Thank you all for allowing us to be here. And uh, I just love this church, and everybody's been so kind to us. I've enjoyed worshiping the Lord with everybody here today. And allow God to continue to talk to you and talk to your heart and move on you. And, uh, and if you'll step in his direction, God will more than meet you at your need. Amen. Thank you, Barkley uh, and praise team. It's later than we are normally used to leaving here, but I can't think of anything I would rather have been doing than to be in the house of God with the people of God. And because you are here, his spirit is here, and God has moved in this place this morning. And he's moved in our hearts. I pray that as we leave here, he will move in our lives, and that evidence will be visible through the fruit and through the actions that we take in our community. Barclay said it perfectly this morning. I want to give Barclay's and his families and the praise team a hand, but I want the glory to go to God. If you felt something praising for it. We normally have a video where we scroll on a PowerPoint the, the people who have served, those who had died, and, and we want to honor them today, but we can't put our hands on that video. So what I'm going to ask you to do, if you would, is to just pause for about a minute or so in silence, honor those people in your heart, think about those in your family who have served, and if you see someone that has served, thank them for that service. And at the end, in a few minutes, I'll just close and we can we can go on. So let's bow before the Lord and thank him for his sacrifice and thank those of Thank those that have served on our behalf in the country. Heavenly Father, as we pause in your presence here this morning, we confess our feeling that uh, you have moved among us and through your spirit you have, you have drawn us closer to you. The Bible says that no man comes to the Father except though he draw them. And Lord, we praise you and thank you for the faith that you've given us to believe. And Lord, through that belief and that faith, uh, you offer your uh, your gift of grace. Thank you for your sacrifice that made all these things possible. And I thank you for the spirit that is in this place this morning. It doesn't have anything to do with the shingle you put on the outside. It has all to do with who's on the inside. And that's you. Lord, go with us as we leave this place. Bless us that we might be a blessing to others. And Lord, as uh, Barclay had said, we want to thank him uh, before you for doing his job as worship leader. Uh, he's been the, the catalyst, Lord, but you've been the power behind it. Thank you for being who you are, for what you do. Forgive us for what we fail to recognize that you have done in our lives. We ask all these things in that matchless name, the most powerful name, that name above every name, the name of Jesus. Amen.
If you have served in any capacity in any branch of the military, raise your hand and let somebody recognize you. Uh, uh, and, uh, Thank you for your service. It's always good, and we don't have to do this just on a special day. Lynn has gotten me in the habit of it, and if, if I don't get up and do it, she's going to do it. But anywhere we are in any place, regardless of who and where, if we see somebody with a hat or they're wearing something that indicates that they have served in the military, we make it a point to thank them. We can do that every day of the year. Thank you all.